Okay, so while my emulsion is drying, I'm going to tape my artwork onto the glass. And I'm taping it on with the ink side of the film up, because that's what's going to go up against the screen. And I'll just put some pieces of scotch tape in the corners. And I'm putting um, two of these on the same piece of glass. Okay, so now everything's dry. And I'm going to bring this into the attic and just put it in the screen. So I'm setting it flat into the screen here, and then mostly in the dark. It doesn't have to be 100% dark, but let's get it pretty dark. That'll sit in there well. And then the other thing I want to do is put the black fabric on the back so the light doesn't sneak around the back side. I want the glass to hold the films and the artwork right up against the screen. So I'm going to expose uh, for, in this kind of light, I can probably do about 40 seconds in direct light. Go on up these, uh, towards the sun, in direct light, and I'm going to count 40 seconds. Now normally I just count Mississippi's out here, uh, and how long I'd expose would vary depending on how bright the light is. And this is the trickiest part compared to um, exposing a screen indoors. Uh, using a light table, right? So in direct light on a nice sunny day in the summer, I do about 35 seconds, uh, maybe a little longer, like 45 seconds in the winter in direct sunlight. And then in um, a cloudy day, I do maybe a minute and a half, two minutes is about as long as I do. Um, if it's really, really dark and gray, I wouldn't do it. If it's evening, I wouldn't do it. Um, okay, so normally I time myself, but someone's timing for me today. Now it's time to go in and wash it out. And if it worked well, where the artwork is, you'll see it's a slightly different green. I'll take the glass and artwork out. I'll take the um, black fabric off. And then you can see it's a slightly different green there. And where it's that lighter green, where the sun wasn't hitting it, that's what's going to wash out of the screen when I wash it with water. I've taped up all four corners. You can see blue tape a little bit on the corners there. And that um, helps it stop from scratching our, uh, our shower. And then I've got a shower head here that's got different settings, and these are really handy. You can use a stronger or weaker spray. So as I wash it out, I'll wash especially where the artwork was, but I'm really going to wash out the whole thing because I don't want this green stuff dripping down and refilling the holes, uh, drying the holes. Both sides. And at first, it's just washing the, washing the emulsion off the surface where it was shaded. Over time, it'll start to wash all the way through. Um, and when it washes all the way through, if you have uh, you know a washout bay like in a print studio that has a light behind it, you can see that really clearly. I can't see that as clearly here in the shower, but I'll hold it up to the light now and then to check. I'll turn it around now and then, make sure it's been clean on both sides. And actually, I can see here it's starting to white, wash out a little bit. By the way, I'm using cool or lukewarm water, not super hot. And I think I'm going to use a slightly stronger setting on this. If you don't have strong enough settings on one, you can block off some holes and then all the water is forced to go through smaller holes. If you don't have a hose at all, it's okay, but then you kind of have to shower with your screen. And this, the artwork with the virus patterns on top has a halftone pattern, so lots of tiny little dots. And I'll just need to wash a little extra to make sure those wash out. This looks like the exposure was really good, like it's washing out really well from the places I want it to wash out, and it's staying on just fine in the other places. And I'll stop for a moment to check it. You know, I'm making sure I'm spraying everywhere because I don't want, you know, there's loose emulsion that will come off a little bit everywhere. I don't want that just dripping down over my artwork and then uh, filling up holes when it's drying in a little while. So I hold this up and in the light I can see, like in front of a window, I can see how well it's doing. I see it's mostly done well, but there's a half tone pattern in here that hasn't really washed out. There are places along here that haven't washed out. So that needs a good bit more spraying and I think I'll do it harder by uh, covering up some little holes on this sprayer. Okay, so I'll 
I'll check it again in the leg. And then I can see it's not quite coming out of the tiniest holes around here. I think I may have just exposed it a little too long. Okay, because that's just a touch overexposed, what I'm going to do is, while it's spraying, I'm just going to wipe it a little with my hand. And I don't usually do this, but if it's, you know, if the holes are almost open, but some of them are resisting a little, maybe where the emulsion is just a dot thicker, it'll help open up those holes. And I'm guessing that's going to look a little bit better. And holes will be opening up a bit more. Yeah. That's looking a little bit better where those tiny holes should get. Okay, so now we'll let this dry outside. Um, by drying it in the light, you know, we're both letting it dry and we're letting the light get on the screen. I'll leave a little bit with the light on this side, a little bit with the light on this side as it's drying. And uh, um, that way the emulsion that's left on will dry on uh, really well, will we'll harden onto the screen really well. Um, I want to come back for a moment to uh, exposure times. So we did this, I think it was about 40 seconds. So I normally go between about 30 seconds and two minutes, um, depending on the light conditions. I suppose you could look at the UV rating on the weather online um, and get a sense for where you want to be between 30 seconds and two minutes, like up around eight, nine, 10, I assume 30, 35, 40 seconds is about right. Maybe down around uh, three or four, you'd be looking closer to two minutes. Um, and then I, I just kind of wing it. It works, you know, almost all the time. Occasionally when it's trouble, um, if I'm really desperate, I'll wrap up a screen in a black hefty bag, race over to the car wash and spray it out with the spray washer, with the power washer, but the power washer can take off some of the emulsion even where it's hardened, so you want to do it carefully if you're going to do that. And then if I fail at that or if I don't want to try that, I will just let the screen dry and reclaim the screen. We'll talk about how to reclaim screens to get all the emulsion off to start over again um, in a video in a few minutes.